What's going on guys? Welcome back to Redemption with Jaden. Last week I played a type 2 game with Joe Schaefer and shared some of the post-exilic nonsense I've been playing around with lately and today we're going to see what the type 1 version looks like and we're going to take it out in a game against Mike Lasky aka Godspeed777 and we'll see if it works as well in type 1 as it did in type 2. Um, so Mike is from Idaho. He's been playing for uh, about 13 years now with a uh, a little bit of a hiatus, and he's going to be using sort of a, a defensive heavy splash offense, a Syrian deck. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, um, here, I guess, uh, here's my deck. Here's the deck I'll be using, and um, I'm just going to go out and say this deck is uh, it's a little crazy. I don't know if I would say it goes go as far as to say, like, crazy good yet, but um, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, so there's only one, in, like between the, the offense and the defense, there's only one non-territorial class enhancement, which is Death of Unrighteous. The rest of it is all territorial class stuff. Um, there are some you know, non-territorial class stuff in the reserve, which we'll talk about later. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty much all just like get set up and go out, which makes it pretty susceptible to counters. But um, that's... You know, kind of the, the price you pay. It's hit or miss sometimes. Um, it also means that we really don't have that many battle winners. Um, so, like, Feast of Trumpets, Feast of Unleavened Bread, and Emmaus Road can all be, tech or like, technically can be used as battle winners, but uh, for the most part, they're going to be used as, like, get stuff going, answer counters, uh, like, you know, take out an artifact, um, or, like, search for some stuff. Um, so, I don't know. It, they're there as options, but usually that's that's not the main strategy here. So let's start with the Lost Souls. Um, pretty standard aggro Lost Souls for any like speed deck. Um, got distressed in here because it answers some of the uh, like counters that I'm most worried about with all the territory class stuff and all the search stuff like Moses, Jonah, Bad Merchants, um, stuff like that. Uh, also Hopper in here just so that we can guarantee have a lost soul to go after because um, it's really about just you know, punching in real quick and not letting my opponent get very set up. Um, dominance, we've got Guardian in here which should pretty much be in any deck nowadays with the meta um, being, or I guess like in any deck that you can search for it, like get it out quickly because um, Women's Falling Away is all over the place. And Sheol is obviously very popular, um, and this kind of answers both. Um, and if, like this deck, it's got Solomon's Dream, Zerubal's Plumb Line, and Triumphal Entry that can all search for it, and then um, the Soldier's Prayer and Emmaus Road, which can search for some of those. So pretty much always, like, Guardian is going to be coming out... Um, pretty quick especially if i if i like know my opponent has the women's falling away or i'm concerned about it uh if i've already you know rescued a few lost souls and can't risk getting behind um and then also falling away i've got my own women's falling away just because that's um you know that's the play these days especially if you're running a fast deck if you're more likely to get your falling away before your opponent gets their guardian or if they're not using guardian then it's an automatic minus one to their score, which is uh, pretty big. And Mayhem is also kind of in part with uh, all of the territory glass enhancements. It means that I can pretty much always get my hand like all the way empty, uh, aside from like Dominance and then DOU. Um, so Mayhem is going to be pretty strong card advantage card. Um, so I, that's, that's definitely... Um, definitely good in there, uh, or going in this deck. Um, and it also works well with the Serpent and Foreign Wives for, you know, Foreign Wives for a block, the Serpent for stalling, um, making sure they won't be able to play good dominance for a while. Um, Chronicles of the Kings also is a answer to, to lots of the counters um, that would be worrisome, like um, takes out Covenant with Death, takes out Golden Calf, those are um, both, you know, shut down the offense pretty much entirely, um, or at least, you know, the, the speed engine, kind of death pretty much 
shuts it down entirely. Golden Calf just, you know, makes it a lot harder to get set up. Um, the Majestic Heavens works well with Joshua. Uh, Book and Endless Treasures are pretty obvious. Endless only has one target with Unsuccessful in Reserve. Um, should probably have Flying Scroll in Reserve too, but we'll get to the Reserve later. Uh, Zerubal's Temple in there for um, combos with, you know, getting Jehoiada. Also holding book if I need to, and then also uh, generating lost souls is pretty nice. Uh, delivered, get set up, get the artifacts out. Um, it might be able to be cut, but just like making sure that I get book on the first turn, or maybe even getting endless on the first turn for the extra card draw is kind of nice. I don't know. Might might be a better card there. Um, and then if you watched my Type 2 video, my post-exilic Type 2, uh, last week, then you know pretty much what the gist of the offense is. But um, basically it's just get a bunch of meek heroes out, go to Zerubbabel, Bantu, Joy to Sunny Veliashib, and play Feast of Booths from Discard Pile to play Impartial Judgment or some other decent enhancement from Reserve. Usually Impartial Judgment uh, is the one to go to, so that you just wipe all the evil cards in their hand before they even get to block. Um, Love of First Sight can also be an option that I have here in reserve. Uh, it's, I mean, basically does the same thing as Mayhem, but better. So if I'm able to like put everything down, then I can just play that for um, a big, you know, big draw. Um, but I don't know if it's really worth it uh, since it doesn't necessarily win me the battle. But yeah, we'll kind of talk about that with the reserve. Um, and then enhancements, pretty straightforward. Just get everything down, search for all my stuff, get set up, and go in quick. Um, and then the defense, as with any speed deck, is all about just chump blocks and speed. So we've got you know, Profane Daughters to get unsuccessful from reserve, um, and then you can also play Death of Unrighteous and Divination and Balance Prophecy. Um, foreign Wives, I, I think, is pretty safe bet in, in every deck now with Throne kind of running rampant and you know, decks like these too if I don't and if I'm not able to you know discard foreign wise from your hand then um, you know having Otto and Zerubal and um, those you know draw two heroes makes it makes foreign wives pretty powerful um, and endless treasures as well um, and then yeah Balaam's Prophecy Obviously, as the synergy with Joshua and with the deck being like what twenty nine out of fifty, so like sixty eight percent. Now, obviously, Balaam's prophecy, um, you know, works well with Joshua synergy there because the deck is mostly good cards, so going to be able to get up to a like draw six basically off of Balaam's prophecy. Um, and then Divination just to get stuff set up, and yeah. You all know how chump block defenses work. Uh, in reserve, we've got kind of the get out Joshua or Angel of the Winds right away, kind of set up with both of them in reserve, and then coming out with Abraham so that if I get Remnant, I can grab either of them. If I get Exiles, I can grab coming with Abraham and grab either of them. Um, and then Hunter to get either of those. Basically, you just uh, almost guarantees that within like the first turn or maybe the second turn I'll you know have them out and um, since Joshua is pretty um, necessary for like Zerubal's plumb line and triumphal entry and Majestic Heavens kind of getting all the that stuff set up and Bale's Prophecy like I mentioned. Uh, I do have another meek hero in reserve that can also be grabbed by David. Um, might play around with you know switching him and Matan and Eliud or like putting one of them in reserve instead. I don't think it really matters because I'm pretty much never attacking with any of them. Uh, so I just put Eli or Eliezer in reserve because he can ban to Jehoshaphat uh, or my opponent's offense too if I want to. Um, you know, just do David, grab Eliezer, and ban to uh, my opponent's OT Human Warrior. Impartial Judgment, talked about that. That's the pretty much go-to first play. Um, Jordan Interrupted in Love at First Sight. I think I think we, we should probably like swap 
one or both of these out. Um, one of them, I think, goes out for Flying Scroll for sure. Jordan Interrupted, I was kind of thinking like, oh, if I've got Enhancement in my hand that I want to play, then I can just play Jordan Interrupted from Reserve and then play the Enhancement from my hand. But eh, it's I don't really have any Enhancements that are going to be in my hand that I'll want to play pre-block anyway. So I think take out you know, that for Flying Scroll and then Love at First Sight. Since I don't have Angel in the deck, I'm not... I, there's like no chance really for me to draw into something that's going to like you know, almost guarantee I win the battle. And so basically I'm just putting a bunch of heroes out there and playing Love at First Sight, then it's going to be easy to pick those apart, I think. So um, yeah, that could probably be switched out for something that'll give a little more value. And then Unsuccessful and Uzza, pretty obvious. Um, so just more more chump. So that's the deck. Now we're going to take it out against Mike, and we'll see what shenanigans we can pull off. All right, let's do this. So we got Covet to start here. Um, no star abilities that we can use right away uh, because obviously no or no post exilic heroes to resurrect and no generic warriors to take. So we'll just go ahead and Covet. Um, I could not use it and then let us be tied or let me be able to choose who goes first, but that's not, yeah, doesn't matter too much for me, I don't think. Uh, so I want to reveal to others all. Um, Exiles would probably be the best bet. Distressed, honestly, might be better. Um, just any lost soul, yeah, it doesn't have to be. OT Dull would be decent. Um, but yeah, I think we want to just take Exiles for now. We'll deal with Distress later on. I guess I could look and see what he's got going on here. It's like a very splashy deck. ET, Strong Angels, and Judges stuff. It's cool. And then uh, Assyrians on defense. Um, so, uh, I guess we'll take control of that. And then I will um, Go and grab kind of with Abraham from reserve. Get Joshua going right away, probably. Although endless treasures right away would probably also be nice. Um, let's see. Let's. Uh, roll here <clears throat> all right so you got a three i got a two he gets to decide who goes first um let's see so it's really not a super fast starting hand um none of the like Search cards right off the bat, like uh, Soldier's Prayer, Plumb Line, or um, <clears throat> uh, Zalman's Dream, but yeah, it's still all right. I think it might actually be good just to do Coming with Abraham right away and then grab Angel of the Winds and. Get some drawing going with Zerubbabel. So, yeah. I mean, it would be nice to get Yeshua out right away, but since we don't have anything to benefit from him right away, then we can wait until next turn. Um, do I want to put any other heroes down first? I don't think it matters. I can ban to any of them with uh, Zerubbabel, except for David. Um, but yeah, nothing 
Probably better just to search with Zerubul at this point, actually. Um, all right, yeah, there's all the there's all the cards we wanted to see, but that's all right. Um, so we'll convert him to Meek and draw two. Got a Prosperity and a Remnant. Wow. All right. Um. <clears throat> So prosperity, uh, we could just dump a hero. Well, eh, it's good to have the heroes around. I don't know, Feast of Trumpets might be okay to get rid of. Um, honestly, basically the only thing that I'd want to, so let's... Um, yeah, let's dump... Matan, I think there's a way to get him back. Maybe he is the way to get him back. Um, tough choices, but <clears throat> I also he's only got one lost soul right now, so eh, don't really want to. Um, yeah, let's just let's just dump Feast of Trumpets. We'll get the draw two and. Um, no, we'll grab Joshua. Just hope he doesn't have any artifacts that are going to be huge issues. Um, and actually, let's just ban to Joshua and play Zerubal's Temple for my deck. That actually works pretty well. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, we got Zerubal's Temple out, we got Joyda right here, we're really just waiting for Feast of Trumpets and, you know, to get a bunch of meek heroes out. <clears throat> All right, you must not have drawn any evil characters or just no good blockers, so we got the freebie on that one, which is nice because I really didn't have anything to back me up except for three woes. Um, let's go ahead and put down Majestic Heavens. Um, I'm kind of thinking that it might actually be worth it just to put down everything and then be able to use Mayhem as a block with Foreign Wives. Um, hmm. uh, well, I think we can afford to wait. Wait a turn. Like Profane Daughter just is you know, maybe, a, maybe a block with uh, Unsuccessful here, so we'll just go ahead and pass. <clears throat> Save Mayhem for a rainier day. Um, might need to use it next turn to generate a lost soul because it doesn't look like you drew one. So, Wall of Protection um, looks nice. Probably there's not really a whole lot of banding, choosing, or side battle in this deck. So, um, but I'm assuming that if he's got some judges stuff going on, then he'll probably have uh, at least a few meek heroes. Um, wow, Saul Paul, all right, cool. And Blinding Light, so he's gonna, he gets to just convert his Saul Paul to the good side and it is protected from opponents while it remains in territory, so. Um, Saul Paul is a pretty old um, card, it's from the Apostles set, um, but he enters play as the evil character, 1110, uh, and then Whenever he's converted, he just automatically goes to, um, 
he automatically goes to his 1010 monster brigade hero uh, and all enhancements played on him cannot be negated so uh, works really well with a bunch of interrupts and um, and also like Paul's Disciples is a card from early church uh, that basically uh, you can like discard them too instead uh, when your Paul is um, getting discarded or captured I think so uh, but here I think we should have a pretty uh, we should be able to block with unsuccessful here um, given that he doesn't have Angel of the Lord but um, we'll see Um, hmm. Go for it. So, yeah, he's asking for dominant initiative, which means he probably has Angel. Um, you don't actually need to ask for dominant initiative on your turn, but you know, that's all right. Um, and he is negating Profane Daughters to take out my unsuccessful, which is. Unfortunate, because that's pretty much all I had here. Um, so that'll work. And so she's discarded, and I'm going to give up Exiles. Um, exiles is probably like the first lost soul that um, you want to give up if you can. If you haven't played Falling Away and then enough Guardian, because uh, it's really nice to play Falling Away later on to get back uh, um, Zero Wells Plumb Line or Solomon's Dream. So yeah, we'll... Uh, um, we'll see if we can get things going here. He's so we put down King Tiglath Pleaser the Third, which is um, pretty good Assyrian evil character. Uh, he's got Unity, which means his ability is a little bit stronger than most. Um, and then he played Treasures of War and passed the turn. So I actually draw three, and that's actually a really nice hand to see. Um, it would be better if uh, he had lost souls, but. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. So we'll just go ahead and put down Guardian. Um, King Tiglath cannot be negated by a good card. So I'm th <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking I just want to go in with a Zechariah Chain right off the bat. Um, just because I think that uh, might be uh, strong against Assyrians. They have some cannot be prevented stuff, and obviously scattered is a threat, but um, no, but I really don't have a way to uh, I really don't have a way to reset my Zerubbabel or to exchange for someone if uh, David or if Otto goes to Joshua. I was thinking I can uh, exchange to David, but he can't really ban to anyone else. Well, I guess he can ban to Matan in my, or Eliezer in my reserve. But he only bans to a warrior or a meek hero, so yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is kind of tough. Um, so I really need Jehoshaphat. I think I just play Mayhem pre-block and we'll see what we get here. Because um, even if I do go out with Matan to search for a Lost Soul, then I probably won't um, get the Lost Soul because I like don't have anything for him. And King Tiglath would probably just auto-block. Um, So, uh, it's kind of hmm, risky to shuffle away my son of God, but I don't know. Um, I think I 
We're gonna go ahead and just play woes and negate treasures of war. Um, and then uh, I think since Profane Daughters is gone, then I'm just going to use Endless Treasures to search for it. And um, at least get the draw to. I don't know if I want to activate it yet. Um, yeah, I, hmm. I mean, it would be nice against Paul, but if I'm going to play Mayhem, then probably don't want it in my hand because I know there's shuffling in my deck. So, yeah, we'll activate it. Draw two. Ooh, there's a couple of nice lost souls to see. I would have preferred to wait on exiles until I had something to go for in discard pile, but oh well. Um, do I want to hunt or anything? I can't remember. I think Remnant and Exiles are pretty much the only Lost Souls that I'd want to go to with Hunter. Um, so. Um, do I want to go ahead and put Oath of Purity down then? I think I like have to play Mayhem if I want to rescue this turn. Didn't have a Feaster Offering in my hand to just play Lost Souls, Ruble's Temple, in my upkeep, which I probably would have forgotten about anyway, but um, it'd be nice if I could activate it with the Purity now so I can bounce my Zerubable, but uh, let's just do that, and we'll put down wins. I think we're just going to go for it. And Oh, I have Majestic Heavens. So I can just create a Lost Soul token. Um, yeah, that seems good. Okay. Let's put Exiles in here. A little top deck. Um, which one do I want here? Let's just grab this guy. Let's see, Evan is discard. Let's see. I doubt he would play Second Coming to get uh, Blinding Light back, so. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so we still don't really have any options. I could just go with wins to Jehoshaphat. Uh, Jehoshaphat, command to Jeshua, command to Haggai, and Zechariah. That's a pretty decent band. Oh, Jehoshaphat also bounces. Okay, yep, so let's just go with wins. And there he is. Perfect. We'll uh, bounce. It's removable. And um, so he gets cleared in hand. And then band to Joshua. We will be into Zerubbabel, uh, well, Nikafi to draw two. Wow. Um, 
Shoot, we should have put him down as Meek. I didn't get Feast of Booths, but... Or no, I can't play from my hand anyway, pre-block. So, um, yeah, we're good. Uh, I probably shouldn't have played Woes, but, I mean, unsuccessful would probably... Uh, I probably shouldn't have played Woes, but negating treasures is, I guess, basically the same as... Uh, or, like, since I'm able to have Unsuccessful active, then I can use Unsuccessful in the battle in the same way that I can use Woes. Um, although, Unsuccessful is probably even better because it would stop, like, things that leave the battlefield, like Death of Unrighteous or something, since it's the... Um, it can target the last enhancement played. <clears throat> Not that I'm too worried about him having or him being able to play Death of Unrighteous like CVP or anything, but um, Scattered would be rough here. Okay, so if blocking opponent must capture their human hero, reserve their active artifact, or give you a city. I could reserve my unsuccessful and um, hmm. And then I can just activate it again with Endless Treasures later. But if he has a CBP enhancement, then I would like to have Unsuccessful for it. Um, I could just capture my Hay Guy. Um, it's not that big of a deal. So I think we'll just go with that, unfortunately. But... Um, Yeah, just because I kind of want to hang on to Unsuccessful right now. It's probably got scattered anyway, but we'll see. Um, oh, I guess he can either, he can still either draw one or activate an idol. So yeah, he can activate an idol from his reserve, which is pretty nice. Ooh, Golden Calf. So it's a decent one. Um, I probably should have top deck something with Cerebral's Temple. No, all of those would have been negated by Sakurai anyway. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> foreign horses. Uh, and that's so he interrupts a battle, draws two. If I use a draw or search ability, which I definitely have, he can play an evil enhancement. And it cannot be negated if a good warrior is in battle, which there is one, Hoshfat. So that's a nice play. Interrupts Zechariah's negate, or is basically, I guess, his ongoing prevent. And so the next enhancement he plays will be able to go through it. But um, that's why we kept Unsuccessful around. So uh, we'll see what he decides to play here. Might just be drawing to hope that he can get something to play if he didn't have anything already. Because, um, yeah, he probably would have... So now he's just kind of thinking, okay, so, yeah, he didn't draw into anything. Um, so we did rescue the soul token, his blinding light. Um, and now I think we just empty our hand and get the mayhem block with the uh, foreign wives on the next turn. Um, oh, I can't play enhancements, though. Oh, that's silly golden calf. Um, hmm. That's pretty unfortunate. Um, so I think I just discard Feast of Booths. Um, Yeah, I'll just discard Feast of Booths, and then we'll just save Solomon's Dream for later, because I have pretty much everything else I need, so. Um, we'll put down the Serpent, because that can also be a really 
good mayhem block. Um, if he puts down another hero. So we'll see. Uh, drawing a lost soul is good. And two lost souls even. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that means that I can play Son of God before playing Mayhem, which is ideal here. Um, be nice if you used Hunter to go to his Distressed, because having Son of God for Distressed is uh, definitely something you want for this deck if Joshua is going to be effective. Um, I'm going to have to probably just move three woes to Golden Calf. Um, unless he activates a different artifact, so um, I don't know. Maybe we can use unsuccessful before then. So otherwise, he might just take it out with treasures of war. But we'll see. He might want to save it for one of my other things. And next turn, I should be able to underdeck it with Joshua anyway. So. So so maybe I just keep three woes on treasures. And then under deck Golden Calf with Joshua instead. That does seem better. Um, so he's using Remnant. Um, so I think if he goes to his reserve for a hero, then I just play Son of God now to negate it. Uh, if he takes a hero, then I can just play Son of God whenever. Um, so you just take it out of play. So. Um, I guess I'll just kind of queue up my message in case he decides to go to reserve. Um, I think definitely his play is maybe to take foreign wives because I feel like me putting it down with three cards left in my hand kind of telegraphs my play. Um, so yeah, he took to Hoshfat. Um, I think I probably want to play a dominant before, or I probably want to play Son of God before he attacks, because I don't want him to go in with Jehoshaphat, uh, if I can help it. I mean, like, Foreign Wives is going to be my block either way. Um, so, oh, I guess... I forgot about Lawless, who can use that first. Um, um, I mean, I'm a Unless he takes something like super threatening with Lawless, then I want to just take Remnant. Um, so yeah, he's doing Lawless on his own deck, and he got uh, he's got a few evil cards in here. Jonah is nice to see in the deck. Um, it's definitely one of the a counter card that is not fun to have to deal with in this deck. Um, I really should probably have a uh, flying scroll in reserve just as a anti Jonah counter, but the reserve is just so tight. I don't know. Maybe love at first sight isn't worth it, but it would be would have been nice last turn if I was able to, to pull it off and just restock my hand. Um, all right, so he took the Rabshika, or the Rapsaurus. No, yeah, the Rapsaurus. Uh, so uh, it's an evil character. If blocking, you may reserve an evil card for me to take up a two Assyrians from deck. And if you don't, you can ban to the Rabshika and or the Tartan. Uh, so first turn, you can basically just you know grab your Assyrians from deck. And then um, now next time you block with him, you can ban to... Uh, couple of dudes. Um, it's pretty pretty solid. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, T 
take back my Jehoshaphat here. Um, none of that nonsense. And we pretty much got the you know, exact ideal mayhem draw, having foreign wives already, and then basically just being down to um, two cards. Would have been nice if I could have played Solomon's Dream as well, but. Um, that's just the way it goes. I mean, honestly, it might have been good just to play Mayhem right after his draw so that he didn't, uh, wouldn't have been able to play Storehouse. Um, but fortunately he didn't draw it, so. Yeah, he started moving cards to top of his deck, but um, the or mayhem you do just like six cards at random if you have more than six cards. Um, so I think the easiest way to do it in Lackey is just to roll a die for the number of. Um, Oh, did he? Oh, I think he, okay. He just concealed his hand from himself and shuffled it. Okay, that works too. Um, that's probably better. You can just you know, reveal to owner none, and then you can shuffle your hand and then just pick cards. Um, so there's the distressed, but fortunately we did draw into second coming, so if we need to, we can... Uh, Take that out, probably we'll need to next turn uh, because the Soldier's Prayer and Triumphal Entry are both pretty good options, so. Um, just ask about the block in case he drew into Angel and wants to play it before I block, but um, that will just block with foreign wives, who is protected because my opponent has drawn five or more cards, you know, nine cards since the draw three and mayhem is six. Um, so he's protected, or she is protected. Um, I could play DOU, but I think I want to save that. Might be kind of nice to get my hey guy back in there, but yeah, we'll save that for next turn and we can uh, play it off of the serpent or something. Um, that was actually a pretty nice draw here. Um, so I got another meek hero. So if we use. Well, we. Yeah, we can't really bounce Jehoshaphat with uh, Oath of Purity because we need to get Joshua out and then he can exchange with Jehoshaphat. Um, so we probably won't do that, but we will just, or we will have three, or I, you know, four meek heroes for sure and Zerubbabel, so five for sure. Um, so he played Son of God in Second Coming. Um, kind of a nice draw off of Mayhem there, um, but uh, I guess he might have had one of them or both in his hand beforehand and just didn't shuffle them, which is um, yeah, 
likely as well, but he took out my hay guy and remnant, so um, that's a little unfortunate, but I think what we're going to do here is uh, probably activate Oath of Purity to bounce his Nimrod, and then, um, hmm. Oh boy, so many options here. Um, actually, you know what? I think we just play Chronicles of the Kings right now. We can take out Golden Calf and Envy and Treasures of War, and then we play Son of God to, or Second Coming to grab Son of God to rescue Distressed, and then our Jeshua is turned on. Um, honestly, don't really need Jeshua on. Well, I guess for yeah, Triumphal Entry. We'd want, want him on. Um, so, all right. Um, any upkeep stuff? Um, I don't really need to search with Zerubbabel's Temple. I could banish Nemo Enhancement, but I'm going to play Chronicles of the Kings anyway. So, um, yeah, let's uh, turn this over. So we don't want to discard my unsuccessful. Um, Well, I guess I should specify that Woes is gonna. Well, actually, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'll just deactivate that, and then so yeah, I guess I should have targeted something else with Woes. I could have done a Syrian camp, but doesn't really matter. Um, so that was handy. Um, I don't know that I have anything else to search for with reverence and awe. I've got my good fortress, I've got my multicolor site. Um, so let's just look through quick with the soldier's prayer. Uh, reveal to owner, all. And I think what we want to do is just to grab. Solomon's Dream, and then get um, another Mikiro out. We can get Ilayud. We can also get Akeem. Probably Akeem is a little bit better, and then we can bounce him and benefit from the uh, territory class side. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. Put that in there, and we'll. Suppose I could have just played it right away, but we'll just go through the motions here. Um, we can actually get both of them. Yeah, because we have Triumphal Entry as well, so um, let's do that. Uh, use my Meek Hero so we can search my deck, and nothing stopping me from searching. Um, do I want my Ezra instead? No, probably not. We've got Jehoshaphat who can bounce Zerubbabel. Um, otherwise, Ezra is also a good option. Um, and then, uh, I guess, yeah, I should just go through it, do it one, do them one at a time here. Um, Uh, yeah, we go for this guy. Oh, Jeshua is negated. Gosh dang it. So, yeah, he goes on top. Um, but he's only got five cards in hand, so I guess, yeah, five meek heroes is a gonna be plenty. So let's actually just do this now. Um, and we can get distressed out of there. And um, yeah, I don't think I need to do anything with reference and awe. We've got plenty, plenty of dudes there, so um, we don't want to bounce Saul Paul because then he'll have another uh, evil card in his hand that he can discard and we want to make sure that we hit everything here so um, uh, 
But um, bouncing is a pretty good answer to Saul Paul because he's only got one blinding light. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. And then um, I guess we might as well play Falling Away now. Um, could grab Hey Guy back, but I uh, don't really need him for anything. So I would capture him in the first place. Uh, the reason I'm playing Falling Away now is because Feast of Boots uh, is more effective, more evil cards. I guess I do have three in here, but um, that's fine. So then I will um, Now that Yeshua is on, I can just go ahead and draw Solomon's Dream. Um, I guess I might as well play it just to grab Angel. Actually, no, I <laughs> forgot I'm not even using Angel of Lord in this deck, so um, we'll just go ahead and grab that guy. Doesn't really matter. Um, try not to take up too much time here, but. So we got all our meek dudes down. Um, I think we're good to go here. Uh, draw two. And then we'll exchange to my deck. Um, Joshua. And under deck is a Syrian camp with Joshua, the most busted card in LLC. Exchange for Jehoshaphat, bounce Zerubbabel. Um, we can clear him and then ban to a priest. Um, then you can ban to a post exilic hero, uh, which I guess we can just. Might as well throw Ezra in there. Um, could have could take an artifact, but we'll Mikify Zerubbabel and then ban to Joida. And, and just because it's an older card, I'll make sure he knows what's uh, going on here. So. Um, I could banish from his discard. Yeah. Um, I guess the only card he could feasibly get back is foreign horses with endless treasures, so we'll just go ahead and banish that. And then his other two enhancements, uh, he can probably get those back somehow. I doubt he has a necromancer in the deck, so I'm not worried about his evil character. Um, so those are banished. We get to draw three. I uh, got a darkness lost soul. Got a hopper lost soul, which is not negated by anything, so it goes to his land of bondage. And then we get to play impartial judgment and reserve. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna guess that's probably game, because there's, I don't think there's any good cards that he could have that would, uh, work, and... Um, that's, uh, so, Impartial Judgment negates an evil card. Each other player must discard X of their evil cards from hand and or battle. And so, since we're playing a pre-block, then we're just wiping everything from his hand. Um, and he only had six cards in his hand, so we just, yep, hit everything but one card. Um, 
So yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he. I think he got a little unlucky with the first turn, not having anything, and then not having anything to play off of foreign horses in the second game. Um, or in the second turn. Um, so uh, that was a little unfortunate for him. Uh, that I was able to get those rescues and then also drawing drawing into Sonic out in second coming fairly early and getting the mayhem value with you know going up five cards is pretty sweet um, so a few good draws for me and uh, a few unfortunate draws for him I really wish I could have seen more of his deck because um, it's a, it looked like a pretty fun splash deck um, but seeing Saul Paul was really cool um, it was just nice I got that one block with foreign wives and that was uh, really all I needed and then with falling away uh, I was able to keep him at two and uh, we got to five there so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the the game it was a little bit of a quicker one this time but we'll uh, catch you next time let, let me know what you think of the posting zilla deck and as always the link to the deck list is in the description so thanks guys